So, uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to make this video because I was thinking about something and uh, about... I was just talking to my mom and shit and, uh, you know, um, I don't know. I made a video on my channel, uh, Corey Resilient is the name of the channel. You can go look it up. Um, you see this video somewhere else, but uh, I made a, a video called, um, what, did I, what did I title it? I said, how alcohol ruined my life and my relationship with my mother. You know what I'm saying? Because in the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That, bro, you're not supposed to drink your whole fucking life. You know how stupid that fucking sounds, bro? Like, you know how dumb that is? Drinking is for fucking losers, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care what you think. You know what I'm saying? I popped all those bottles of Henny. I fucking been beating bottles up. Been drinking my whole fucking life. Been smashing empty bottles over people's fucking domes after I'm done drinking a bottle, bro. Like... That's the type of stupid shit that happens when you drink. You want to be a fucking gangster. You want to drink alcohol. You want to be cool and party and fucking act stupid and fucking flamboyant like a fucking retard. That shit ain't cool, bro. That shit ain't fun anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm 26 years old. That shit ain't fun to me no more. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like The problem with it is, is it, it is fun. You know what I'm saying? It feels fun at the fucking time. You know what I mean? And now... Like, if you pull yourself out of that and you don't drink for, like, fucking three, four, five, six months, you're going to look at this shit like, yo, what the fuck was I even doing? You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing as when you do fucking drugs, when you're fucking, when, when you, people are smoking fucking crack and meth, they're all fucked up and their life is fucked up. And then all of a sudden they go to rehab, they get out six months later and they're like, wow, my whole life is fucking changed and, and what the fuck was I, that's, what? I can't believe, that's terrifying that I was in that mind state where... It's like a fucking nightmare when you come out of it. You look at it like, what the fuck, man? Like, I was a fucking weirdo at that time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, you know? But my point being is that... <sighs> man, alcohol is fucking loser shit, bro. I don't give a fuck. And I know... Listen, I've been hearing this excuse my whole fucking life, okay? I've been hearing my mom and my dad say, listen, you know, a couple of drinks is okay. A couple of drinks is okay. A couple of drinks is okay. No, don't worry about it. It's just a couple of drinks. That is a fucking cop-out excuse, bro. That is a fucking excuse. That shit is whack. I don't want to hear that faggot fucking loser shit no more. Fucking waste you with shit. Fuck off. I don't want to hear that shit. That shit makes me mad, bro. Because you know what? Listen. My friends are in fucking jail, okay? They're in jail for fucking 13, 10, fucking 15 years. You know what I'm saying? Um, my dad died from, you know, from smoking, okay? From smoking, he not taking care of himself, being irresponsible, drinking, partying, doing fucking drugs his whole life, and he died at fucking 49, okay? My mom has been drinking her whole fucking life since she was probably like fucking, who knows, 13. She's like 50 fucking two. Bro, you don't fucking drink until you're 52, you fucking retards. Like, is that, are you stupid? You're 52 fucking years old. You drink for the first quarter of your fucking life, and then you throw the fuck up, you retards. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? You don't keep drinking. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? And no, you don't just, just because you work, and you work your ass off, I don't give a fuck. Work harder. On that day off that you got, don't make that excuse in your fucking head and say, oh, it's okay. I worked my ass off this week. It's okay to have a couple of drinks. I did the same fucking thing, bro. I did the same thing when I was working, when I was grinding. I came home like, I did well. I haven't been drinking for a while. I'm going to have a couple of drinks, and I deserve it. That is a fucking brainwash. How did I figure that out? It took 26, 27 fucking years for me to figure that out, bro. That a shit is an excuse, and it will fuck you up. Believe me. Believe that. Because when you're just touching that drink... Maybe even once on a weekend, one night on a weekend, one night on a weekend. I'm telling you right fucking now. If anything goes wrong in your life, you lose your job. Your bitch cheats on you. Your fucking kid dies. Something fucked up happens. You're going to go right to that fucking drink because that is the only thing that you know that makes you feel fucking better at the end of the week when you get off work. It's a fucking dopamine fucking addiction type thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really is. I'm telling you, man, it'll fuck you up. And I witnessed it my whole fucking life with everybody else except for me. Because I fucking stayed self-disciplined and looked at all these fucking retards and watched them all fucking trip over each other's fucking shoes. Like dumbass motherfuckers. Ruining their relationships. Ruining their fucking, their, their kids' lives. Their fucking, you know, their friendships. All that shit, bro. It's fucking, 
fucking loser shit. I hate it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to chill with fucking losers. I want to chill with people that are winning, that are working out every day, that are going on fucking bike rides, that are getting money, that are fucking doing well with their lives, that are doing what they're passionate about, and being fucking positive. I don't want to hang out with that fucking loser that fucking, you know, works all week and then, uh, you know, just wants to sit there by themselves and get drunk in a fucking corner and then, and then fucking cry themselves to sleep, wake up and be like, what happened last night? That was weird. Fuck that shit, bro. This shit is loser shit. Like I said, I don't fuck with losers, bro. I'm done losing in life. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fucking lose anymore and I don't want to watch other people fucking lose anymore, bro, because that shit will rub off on you and you will start fucking losing. You are a product of your environment. You are what you eat. In other words, and you'll become who you hang around. And that's just a fact. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who you are, who what the fuck you thought, bro. I'm talking from experience. The only time I keep my fucking mouth shut for solid fucking months at a time. I don't say a fucking word, maybe a year, whatever. Anytime I talk, anytime I fucking say something, it's because it's really fucking real. And I figured it out and it's a factual fucking matter now. It's not a discussion, it's not a fucking opinion, it's not an argument. Okay, it's none of that. It's not a fucking debate. These are facts. I'm telling you straight up what the fuck it is. I don't care. You know what I mean? And how do I learn? What makes me hate it even more is watching my fucking fall down drunk fucking mother her whole life drink her whole fucking life away. 52 fucking years of drunkenness, bro. When I was a kid, all they did... My dad was always going to jail. She was always sending him to fucking jail. They were drunk. She's a fucking piece of shit anyway. She fucking probably cheated on him and he fucking freaked out and fucking they were drunk. Fucking punched each other out. Blood all over the fucking place. Cops. Him going to jail. Her leaving at strangers fucking places. My mom was a fucking stripper. Okay? My mother was a stripper. I didn't even know that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I grew up. I found that shit over there. I was like, holy fuck, bro. That shit is fucked up, man. That's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? That's really unfortunate because, I mean, in the end of the day, this is what these females think, bro. They think that it's a fucking religion to sell your fucking pussy. Like, women f forever have... Bro. That is not a flex. That's not something to be proud of. These bitches are boasting about, oh yeah, I'm independent and I get money. You stupid bitch. You're selling your fucking pussy, you fucking retard. And you think that's a flex? You think you have a reason to brag? You're a fucking idiot ting, bro. Get the fuck out of my face, yo. You fucking waste, you. Fucking thought. Fuck, man. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and... That's unfortunate. My mom did that, you know what I'm saying, when I was young, leaving me at random places and shit, random fucking her friends. or I don't know who the fuck these people are. I'm a child, you know what I'm saying? I was a kid. I don't know if what this motherfucker is going to... Who fucking knows what could have happened? And that is a fucking example of poor parenting. You know what I'm saying? You don't fucking do that shit, bro. Man, I would rather be on fucking welfare and stay with my kid than go and do something fucked up. Like, if I was a female stripping for money... You know what I'm saying? And dro dropping my kid off at fucking random men's house that you've been fucking. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck are these people? You're a stripper. What are you saying? These are really good people and they fucking work at churches? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I could Something bad could have happened to me from leaving me as a fucking kid with these fucking goofs. Whoever the fuck these weirdos are. Nothing ever happened that I'm a fucking aware of. And I'm pretty sure I would be aware of that. That I'm sure that would fucking affect me later in life. You know what I'm saying? So thank God for that. That that never happened to me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it has happened to a lot of uh, people, you know what I'm saying? So, but in the end of the day, I'm showing this as a fucking example of what you do not do and how one small thing can lead to another. And all this shit, her stripping, all that shit, bro, to get this money, wasn't just about taking care of her kid, bro. It was about alcohol money. She wants to live the fucking party life. She wants to go party. She wants to do cocaine. She, you know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? But in the end of the day, I feel bad for my mom, you know what I mean? But in the end of the day, we could move forward and this wouldn't have to get brought up or used against her. And it shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? But in the end of the day, I do. You know what I'm saying? I say, listen, because she's in denial. She hasn't accepted what she's done to me as a fucking parent, to her fucking self, her alcoholism for her whole life, 52 years old. And you're still getting drunk. What the fuck? Go for a jog, bro. You're going to die soon. <laughs> like, you think you're going to do cocaine and party and do fucking drugs and drink for 52 fucking years and you're not, you're going to live past 60? You're just whatever. All right. I mean, it happens. Yeah. 
I mean, it happens, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean that's going to be your reality. And that's an ignorant state of mind to think, oh, i seen this guy smoke for 80 years, so I can smoke cigarettes. Nothing's going to happen to me. You can fucking die at 30, you fucking retard. This is what I'm talking about, about stupidity. I hate dumb people. I hate losers. I hate stupid people. I hate, you know what I mean? And I don't know it sounds fucked up, but at the end of the day, I'm here to help stupid people and teach them what not to do. I'm here to help people with addictions and alcohol, alcoholism because I fucking beat it. I beat every fucking thing. I've been to jail. I sold drugs. I fucking did drugs when I was young. Ecstasy, coke, shit like that. No hard drugs. I was never stuck like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe ecstasy and coke. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, that's that's fucking shit. That shit can get real. You know what I'm saying? And it did. You know, I was kicking doors off to, to rob for money to get these drugs and fucking rob and deal it. All types of shit. But my point being is about the alcohol. Listen, do not make a fucking excuse and think that it is justified just because you worked your ass off all week that it is appropriate to have a drink at the end of the fucking week on a weekend. Let me explain something to you. That is a fucking illusion. You've been taught your whole life by civilization that that is a fucking natural, normal process. It ain't. Bro, I'm telling you it's not. How the fuck do I know? Because I experienced it and watched it. Okay, some people say, yeah, but I've been doing it all my life. I don't have any of those fucking problems. Well, just because you just said that, now something is going to happen, bro. Don't fucking be cocky. Don't have this ego attitude. I used to have that shit. I used to be the same fucking... I'm, shit will miss me, bro. That shit ain't going to happen to me. Fuck that. Fuck this. Fuck that. Nah. Nah, I can do what I want. Nothing. Nah, I'm in control. I know what the fuck I'm doing, bro. And you know what? Everybody that has that fucking attitude is going to learn one day. Just as I did. I'm lucky to have learned soon, sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? Other people won't learn until 60 years old and it's too late now. And you fucking, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? Liver disease, all kidney failure, all that type of shit. Comes out of nowhere, man. You know what I'm saying? I've seen my friend's dad's friend fucking die from drinking until he was 50. He, did, he died because of alcohol. From liver, like, liver failure, like, all that shit. He was fine a couple weeks ago. Hey, party, you having a good old time? He's fucking dead now. You know what I'm saying? My dad is dead. You think I want to watch my mother fucking drink her life away like that? While I'm sitting here trying to survive and defeat all these fucking demons? Bro, you know what I'm saying? When I come from a life of crime and I haven't been to jail in fucking, what, since I was like fucking 18, 19, and I'm 26. And, I, and bro, I came up hard. I was around 10 timers. You know what I'm saying? Gangsters. My dad's a fucking OG. He did 10 years of Collins Bay Penitentiary, bro. Look that fucking pen up. You know what I'm saying? He's been to Kingston. He did three years in Kingston. Collins Bay, fucking the, sh the shoe. Oh, bro, my dad was a gangster, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was out there doing armed robberies just after he had me. You know, I'm trying to get money up, probably th for me. You know what I'm saying? For his kid. But anyways, point being is I'm telling you right now, that fucking mind state will have you fucked up. One day you won't even realize it, bro. It's this, it's, you don't realize it, man. I'm telling you right now. It's going to fuck you up, bro. And it's fucking my shit up with me and my mom. Because listen, I don't want to hear you drunk. Don't call me. She, the only time she wants to talk to me, oh, I miss you, I'm sad, and this and this and that, crying, and is when she's drinking. The only time she calls me is when she is got sitting on a drink. That's it. And that you're, that upsets me too. And I'm like, you know what? I had to realize that. I'm like, yo, you only call me or to want to talk to me when you're fucking drinking. The fuck is wrong with you, man? Get your shit together. You're fifty something years old. She's she has a job. She's working, which is good. But that mentality, you gotta knock that shit off, bro. And the only way that you're gonna really realize how fucking real it is if somebody like me comes to you and fucking force feeds that shit to you and really lets you feel how real this shit is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I gotta be rude. Sometimes I gotta be harsh. Sometimes I gotta cut my mom off and stop talking to her, which obviously is not good for anybody. You know what I'm saying? She might die the next day, and we had an argument. I had a teacher, her name was Miss Lee, and I was in, um, like, grade fucking five or something like that, and I swore at her, and I was like, fuck you, you fucking bitch. Fuck, I said something really bad to her, man, like, something vulgar as fuck for no reason. I was just being a piece of shit kid, you know what I mean, asshole kid, because I had asshole fucking piece of shit parents that fucking influenced me in that manner. Where the fuck do you learn? You learn your kids learn from you, bro. They don't learn not just from the TV and all that shit. It first starts with you and how you raise your fucking kids to the way that they're gonna be. Yeah, they can still turn down the wrong route and be different, but yeah, but believe me, nine times out of fucking ten. But anyways, um, 
I even forget what I was just fucking saying, man. But, uh, whatever, man. It's a 14-minute fucking video now, but my point being, listen, man. Waste. Stop. Alcohol is not meant to be consumed your whole fucking life, bro. Okay? And stop telling yourself, oh, it's okay, you know, a couple drinks on the weekend here and there, you know, on occasion. You know what I'm saying? If, actually, if you have a history of alcoholism, that is not acceptable. If you don't have a history of alcoholism, that's acceptable, in my opinion. But be cautious because it starts like that with anything. Weed, coke, fuck crack, meth, heroin, just a little bit. It's okay once in a while. It's not got a hook on me. It doesn't have a whole strong hold on me. It's not going to get a grip on me. I'm higher than that. I know myself. You will be fucking surprised in 10 years. And then you'll be sitting there saying, fuck, I made a mistake. Now I got to tell other people what I fucked up on, you know, so they don't make the same fucking mistake. So I can save them 10 years of fucking grief. You know what I mean? Real talk. Anyways, and then my mom is, she's getting mad at me for just saying, I don't want, like, I want to start a new life. And I have myself by myself. But I want to start a new life with you and be a part of your life and us to be a part of each other's life. I haven't seen my mom in five years. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, that's not going to happen unless you stop drinking. I watched you my whole fucking life drink your fucking life away. And my dad died from the same stupid shit, smoking, drinking. Thought it was cool. Thought it was okay. I've suffered my whole fucking life over these things. And it has traumatized me and fucking hurt me in many ways that I will deal with for the rest of my life that hasn't even surfaced yet. That I might have to deal with later in life still. You know, it's hitting me now. It's starting now, 26, man. You gotta be careful, man. And she's being mean to me about me requesting that. Why should I argue with my mother about her fucking alcoholism? Are you dumb? You shouldn't put your kid down. You shouldn't fucking uh, disagree or argue with your child about your fuck up. You're supposed to be a fucking woman or a man about it and be like, yeah, you know what, son? You're right. Straight up. I'm gonna cut these excuses. I'm not... I'm going to figure out something to replace that feeling with. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to do. If you're working all week and you're tired and you think, oh, well, you know, I want to relax and, and have a drink. Guess what? If you don't smoke weed, you better fucking start because weed is not anything of anything that has to do with alcohol, drugs, or any of that shit. That is a fucking illusion as well. I've been smoking weed my entire life. Nothing bad has ever come out of that health-wise, mental-wise, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's helped me dramatically in my life you know what i'm saying and i've witnessed somebody i made another video of a guy that i lived with for six months he cured his fucking stage four cancer in front of me showed me ct scans documents doctor's shit all that shit in the flesh lived with him for six seven months did another ct scan no cancer gone he's smiling happy he doesn't give a fuck like he already knew that was gonna happen from taking cannabis oil okay it's the cbd component inside of marijuana that combines with the THC that fucking has a healing effect that actually reverses and gets re and really actually kills cancer. Believe it or not, it is a fact now. It's even been scientifically proven, which was buried by the government. But anyways, you can research all that shit if you don't believe me. I don't care. Uh, I'm just telling you the facts. You know what I mean? But um, my point being is that you need to replace that alcohol, that feeling, that 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 mind state where it's okay to have a couple of drinks at the end of the week after you get off work, blah, 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 point blank, period. Um, you need to replace that with something, man. Something. You want your life is about developing yourself and trying to become a better person, healthier, stronger, more fit. That's what life is all about. But everybody's got it all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So did I. My whole fucking life. It's just hitting me now, and I'm like, I'm trying to do exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not even trying. I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been doing it. But my point being is that don't argue with your fucking kids about your alcoholism issue. Okay, that's your fucking problem, and that's your fuck up. You fucked up. Don't fucking, you already fucked your kid up long enough because of your fuck up, and now you're going to argue and, 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 and put me through shit. You know what I'm saying? And she chooses the alcohol over, and I told her, I said, I'm going to move on with my life, cut you off, and never fucking talk to you again because my fucking dad died. This is a, not a fucking game. I will disown you, and I will say I don't want any attachment of love in my heart to you because you, why would I love somebody that doesn't even love them fucking selves? You understand? Okay. Understand that, bro. Because that's going to fuck you up. And you know what? I'm only 26. She already lived her whole life, drank it all the fuck away. She's 52. Her life's over. I want to live a good, full, fulfilled fucking life. My life hasn't started yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to live a good life. Don't rip me off from my fucking experience because you're a piece of shit. 
and you're gonna die soon because of your fucking failures in life. I wanna live, stupid. You know what I mean? So, anyways, that's my message to people. Okay, Corey Resilient here, other known as Sincere Music, Music with a Z. Look me up, iTunes, Spotify, everything, whatever. You know, Google me, check my music out. You see this video? Please share this video. Please share this video. Please comment and let me know what you guys think. I need to discuss this with people and other people need to be discussing this in the comments so please you know what i mean and help me you know get the reach with this with this video because i'm gonna i'm gonna start really doing stuff man and uh really really making a point you know what i'm saying so um anyways yeah man god bless and uh fuck alcohol that shit's for fucking losers get over it get through it move fucking on find something new to do with your fucking life that shit is a phase it's a stepping stone get over it grow the fuck up stop being a retard you're not supposed to drink your whole fucking life you know what i'm saying unless like you know what i mean and and, and i'll be honest listen man you may not be at that point yet you might be in the fucking hood in the ghetto in the fucking projects and this you have to live that fucking life you know what i'm saying but be, just be smart and know what the fuck you're dealing with you know what i mean but you know, because that's the only way to deal with it. You know what I mean? When you're from the hood, bro, like <laughs> all you're doing is popping balls at honey. You can't. It, it, it's either that, or you're gonna fucking blow someone's fucking cap right off. Anyways, and it's probably gonna happen anyways. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But that's gonna delay. That's gonna not really delay, but that that'll probably make it happen. But it helps you inside falsely. You know what I'm saying? Get through that shit. But you gotta recognize that and just know that. As long as you fucking know that, then you can elevate past that and that's what i did i realized what i was playing with and what i was fucking with from looking at everything else in my life and my parents and all that shit you know what i mean so i knew i was playing with fire you will get burnt so in the end of the day drop that you know what i mean because it's a waste period peace out